I'm here at the Greater Urban uh, Film Festival for a reason. That is to talk about Blacks and Media as being a representative of the Greater Cleveland Association of Black Journalists. And having been in this business for almost 50 years, I think it's so important that we understand how key it is that we set the tone, we tell the stories, our stories as well as other stories, because they're being told by other people to us and about us who don't necessarily understand us. I moderated the panel for the state of black media, um, but also a lot of times people see their TV people on TV, but they never see them out and about. So my mission was to come here and hopefully if people have questions about getting in my industry, they can ask. And yeah, just get to see me, you know, live and in person. My name is Alton Tinker. Um, along with Donna Dabbs, we are the founders of the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival and the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Foundation. Oh, this is our fifth annual Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival. Um, we have grown a lot over the last five years, and we're happy to be where we are today. It's a labor of love. Um, where do I see us going within the next 10 years? Um, we expect to double um, the amount of people that we have. We expect to bring even more people to Cleveland. That's the whole concept of having a, a film festival is economic development. Filmmakers are looking to be connected with distributors and distributors are looking for content. So what we're trying to do is connect both of those things together so that each of those individual, each of those entities can benefit from one another. This venture into digital media, new media, the power is in my hands. I'm the one who decides for my network, I want this show, I want that show, we're going to develop this. And it's always things where women, particularly black women, have a full life and are multi-dimensional characters. Because we, there's been a recent, I think, boom of black content in Hollywood, which I'm very thankful for. There's more black people behind the scenes and we really need every last one of us behind the scenes to push content forward. But for me, it's very simple. I decide what goes on my network. Take yourself to film festivals like this, or the world next week, and just grind. Just meet people, show up, be pleasant, be smart, be educated. Google who's on the panel beforehand. Find some nugget that you can go up to them later and just drop some small little thing. I see you know, I Some small little thing that might be different than what everyone else is going to come at them at. Um, I'm always charmed by that because it tells me that you're serious. I mean, a lot of us are passionate, but passion is different than being serious. We're not, as a community, making a lot of noise. We're not going to get that feedback. You know, that's why NRA and certain, you know, uh, good groups get a lot of, um, you know, money and a lot of support from the government because they call them every day. It might only be 15 people. But they call what is our next connection to you? How do we create a pipeline of your talent being regular here? And when are you back here again in Cleveland? Because if, if you're just here now, it's like you were this flash before me and this great brilliance that excited me, but then it's gone. I want to sustain that. I'm easy to reach. Um, I, I leave like my social media, you know, all that stuff like that. You know, we are, we have a local affiliate here. We have a, you know, we're a different model, I don't know if everyone's familiar than, than, um, than a cable network. You know, we have local affiliates all over the country. And so we stay connected locally all over the country. Um, and, you know, that opportunity doesn't always look like, you know, getting your own show on Bounce, but, you know, that, that opportunity does look like staying connected and making and extended invitations to, to have conversations and vice versa. I mean, a lot of us are passionate, but passion is different than being serious. <laughs> there are different things, and so I get the enthusiasm, but I'm looking for that one person that really is, is being educated about this, being smart about this, being patient about this, and knocking on the door when they're ready, not just because they're hungry. Like, they're ready, and there is a difference. My line is always open to students. You know, I get messages from students all over the country who, you know, want to be journalists, who want to be reporters. You know, um, I think sometimes um, they just don't have somebody who you will talk to them and tell them, like, this is what you need to do. This is who you need to call. This is what you need to be about. And uh, I 
you know, I'm happy always to talk to, to young students about that. Some of them I don't even know. I'll, I'll end up meeting them at the uh, NABJ convention in the summer. It's usually held in the summer. And I'm like, hey, nice to put a face and a name together, you know? They're like, thank you, Missy. I got my first job. And I'm like, yay, stay there. Now you need to pay it forward and help somebody else so that they can get a job too. What I see today, it's, it's amazing because media takes on so many different perspectives when we talk about it. When we talk about the state of it, sometimes I'm really excited about the potentiality and where we could possibly go. We're in a time right now where we need journalists that look like us to dedicate themselves to us. So I would like to see more journalists really vested in their community. You're part of the community, but are you part of the solution? A lot of times black journalists are not there at the table. They're not going into the neighborhoods in which they're from because I've made it, right? So I don't have to go back. So I would like to see a lot of um, African-American journalists reach back, pull some other people with them so that we can do this together. So it's important that we take the time with intention to say, this is who I am, meaning this is who my community is, and I'm a part of this community too. I am viable, I'm alive, I am visible, I am not invisible, and therefore I have relevancy too. When we do that, we'll see more of what we believe to be relevant stories about ourselves being seen on social media, on the digital, as well as on television. We just have to do that. And we, if we don't, then it's on us.